the question is, would I buy a CSC RX3 new or would I have bought this or any used stock CB500X for about the same money? question was irrelevant when I got this one because I traded uh, locally it depends you know the RX3 has been around for a few years now its owners generally seem very happy with it It's definitely a great looking bike. And one thing you don't have is, uh, you do have them, from what I've read and heard from everybody, awesome customer service, you know, just excellent. But you don't have a local dealer that you can go and say, hey, I need this done, I need uh, this or need that, or that you can complain to. And one thing the, the RX-3 hasn't been around long enough yet is to say it has reliability like the Honda. I mean, it's a Honda. They last forever. They've properly maintained. But you do get a much more complete package. It's already got racks and boxes, crash bars, skid plate, 19 and 17 inch wheels, etc. More ground clearance. Yeah, I'm not liking these tires on gravel at all. I don't know if I'm going to put tires on it or not since I'm still probably going to have to sell the thing. So you know, let's say you buy this bike for 4,000 cash. and you want to outfit it like an RX-3. Now you're looking at uh, three or $400 for crash bars, uh, four or $500 for racks, uh, at least that's about what I've got in the racks I put on this one. You know, three to $1,200 for boxes, depending on what you buy. A couple hundred dollars for a decent skid plate, tires, and you're still not going to have the ground clearance. Do I think the CB500X is a better bike than the CSC RX3 or even the RX4, which is uh, uh, closer in spec to the CB500? You know, it's 450 cc, 41, 42 horsepower, single cylinder, can be bought set up just like the RX-3 or can be bought set up just like the CBX for about $6,000 without the racks and boxes. So it's pretty close, you know, price, uh, comparable in specs, at least on paper. I have great interest in the RX-4. But for $6,000, it doesn't come with anything that CB500X doesn't come with. I think the CB500X is a better bike. If I had $6,000 to spend right now, I would buy the CB500X, especially the new one with the, uh, the updates, the 19-inch front wheel, etc. The RX-3 is $4,000 shipped to your door. Brand new. Until it's been around long enough to where riders are getting 
upwards of 50, 60,000 miles on theirs. Which I have seen several examples of the CB500X uh, running strong at that kind of mileage. I would have to take that into consideration for a daggone shore. Then there's the horsepower. You know, it's like, it, like I said, it's not a fast bike. But I remember watching every ride do a review of his RX3 and he drag raced his wife with the kids in the back seat of the car in the car seats with her and her Toyota Prius <laughs> and the Prius outran him every time. You don't need horsepower, but it sure is fun. One minute, 37 seconds later. If you're wondering why I brought up this comparison between the CSE box and the CB500, uh, you know, it's still a real possibility I'm gonna wind up selling this bike. And I'm thinking about possible replacements. But back to the not a review review. You know, this is not uh, any anything even remotely resembling a trail. This is a dirt road, it's a gravel road uh, that could use a little maintenance to maintain its status as a, a gravel road. But you know, any mom in a minivan uh, could bring her kids up this road safely and comfortably in their minivan. Like I said too, had I better tires, I wouldn't be running so cautiously. Nothing wrong with going slow and enjoying the day though. You know, the wife's off from work, just about getting in the FJ. Be heading home soon, so she's gonna be me home. <laughs> I have certainly enjoyed this bike what time I've had it, and if I don't end up having to sell it, I will certainly enjoy it what time I have it. If it works out and I do keep the bike. It will need more off-road worthy tires, skid plate, crash bars. I would like to upgrade my boxes uh, to aluminum. Yeah, the bike is really happy on roads like this. Wood trees are pretty. So it's not bad. Now I wouldn't call myself a minimalist by any stretch of the word. But sometimes I really get into the mood where I feel like less is more. I'm not sure if that's Boone Lake or South Houston. I think it's South Houston. Sure is a nice day out there.
no center line, you think? Let's see, I can lug this thing down. So we're down around 2,000 RPM right now. Accelerating up a hill. That's fine. You swing past 6,000 RPM it tends to make a little more noise than it does horsepower. I'm not going to be scraping the pegs today, but I have ridden this bike and leaned it over enough in the curves at a spirited pace to scrape pegs and it handled it fine didn't skip a beat, didn't sweat, didn't stress it you can definitely feel the CB500R in it I didn't touch on the brakes. As I said, this is a non-ABS model. It has a single caliber brake in the, in the front, ventilated discs. Same for the rear. I have never had issue with the brakes, other than locking them a few times when I didn't intend to. wasn't a downfall of the brakes. It was a rider mistake. If your CB500X is an ABS model, it shouldn't be an issue. Excellent. But anyways, at this point, I'm just going to shut up and ride. <laughs> so I need to be getting home. Without getting too crazy, of course. As this is a public road. I think Honda got the gear ratios on this thing just about right for everything except interstate travel. Space just widely enough to get a little speed in between. Just close enough to keep it in the torque curve on the power band. Nothing to do with the bike on this hand bothering me. Poor ligament in that wrist. Last year? No, 
know, two years ago. Two years ago this month. Uh, when Ruby was a, a month old. I think it was April. Had a work truck pull out in front of me. It was the only time I've ever laid down a, a bike on the on the road. I laid it down to keep from paddling into it. And I tore a ligament in his wrist. And the soft suspension with not much travel. See, Highway 421. And the potholes back there conspired against it today. One bridge. I always like to stand up and look. to be stupid. It's not stupid. It's advanced. flashing so it's going to die in a minute so I will go ahead and end this video here hope everybody has a wonderful week a great weekend get out and enjoy the spring weather thank you so much for watching if you watch this long your support is greatly appreciated if you're new here give it a subscribe if you like the video give it a like pound that bell notification We try to upload something every week, whether it's good or not. <laughs> so everyone have a blessed day. Peace out. Show.